All right, what's up, Tim Sykes here. Uh, sweet view from the Burj. Check out Dubai. This is pretty sick, actually, uh, with this cloudy morning. I probably should have filmed this video sooner when we walked in, so forgive my place is a little messy, but bathroom, pretty cool tub, shower. Um, and I should mention, you know, when I show you these visuals, uh, it's to motivate you. It's to help you study because never forget, 90% of traders lose. Um, you know, most people are not going to be able to get to places like this unless you study. And even if you study, I can't guarantee success, but I do guarantee you I'll teach you everything I know um, and learn the hard way. So when I make this kind of video, um, understand also, I'm sorry, like I said, I'm sorry for the mess. Come on. Come on, Sykes. Um, also understand. Whoa. Hold on one sec. We got a call. Oh, Quinn's got it. We're asking for a late checkout too. Um, understand, I'm not even paying for this. Um, this is kind of cool that I'm here at the Burj and if you, like you can see the pool over there a little. If you Google the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, I mean, this is one of the most luxurious hotels. Like this isn't like a normal view. Um, but the interesting thing is I'm actually being put up here by one of my first trading challenge students. You can click the link below, um, apply for my trading challenge. Here's the TV, by the way. Um, Harry A was one of my first students and now he has used the patterns to make millions in crypto. We got a late checkout. Check out 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Whoa. Check this out. So this is Quinn's room. He just got us the late checkout. Thank you, Burj. Did you watch TV? Did you get the TV to come up? Yeah, Wait, said. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I forgot to do like a villa Check tour it. or a suite tour. So oh, I I'm sorry. That's what I said. I was like, I should have cleaned up. But we had too much going on. Wait till yeah. you see our Dubai adventures. Celebrating two more new millionaire students, Kyle Williams. Kyle Williams hey. on cue. Look at this. I've never even seen this. This is pretty cool. That's what the Burj looks like, FYI, from the outside. You can see here, like, this thing is literally, like, right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, does it say Harry on it? I want people to understand that this is not my suite. This is Harry putting us up. Do you like it, Kyle? Oh, it's incredible. This is a good way to celebrate yeah. your million? Absolutely. Yeah. Now you're over 1.7 million. Yes. What do yeah. I tell people, you know, who want to get into the challenge? Um, what kind of grind have you put in? Because they just see the money and they're like, oh, I want to make that money. But how many hours of study? Oh, right? like, I mean, I, I was lazy when I first started didn't study at all um and then realized and then realized what i had to do and it was yeah 8 10 12 i mean for a month it was probably 14 hour days i mean there was literally a month where i didn't go outside um huh? I, and i knew it was how the hell stopped for a month i had to stop were your parents like worried about you they were um, Did they think you were like in a cult or something no i mean they were like worried they're like we never see you <laughs> and, I, and i was in the house with them i was just in my like in my office Roland um, had that so, same thing when he was studying like 17 yeah. hours a day. And I met your parents, great people. Yeah. And who awesome. was it? Your your dad didn't believe it and your mom like liked it? Yeah, mom was supportive from the beginning, but dad was was skeptical until, you know, I started making more than he did. And he's like, oh. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> and you got him the Pac-Man thing for his, for, what was that, for Christmas? For Christmas, yeah. Does yeah. he still like his Pac-Man? He loves it, yeah. He's, he's a big, that was big gamer. Sweet. Did you get yeah. your, your courtside seats yet? Um, you order them? You're once, courtside once seats. tickets come up next season, nice. uh, and they announced that they'll that they will accept people in the stadium, then yeah, that's one of that's your good. one of your splurges. And yeah. this is interesting. Many people don't understand this about like making a lot of money. Like you're not used to spending money. Like you're no. like what you don't want to spend too much. You want to enjoy. Yeah. Because like you've you've worked hard for it, but you got to be careful, right? Yeah. What was I've it? Been... What did you message me the other day about the money in your wallet? Oh, I forgot. I had like four hundred dollars in my wallet. Yeah. Yeah. I just like I think I we, I I got an Airbnb with my friends for like to celebrate a birthday. Um, and they, they Venmoed me some, or they, someone, some of them gave me some cash cause we all split it for another guy's birthday. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and I just then had cash in my wallet and I forgot I had like $500 <laughs> in it? my wallet. Yeah. And so, it felt good. It felt great. I think actually let's, I think I have, I think I have money in my wallet that I forgot. Don't show personal information on the internet. All right. We'll check it out later. Anyways, that's some inspiration for you from Kyle. And you know, this is, this is why I made these videos because you have to get inspired to see the potential rewards. I know that your friends and your family are probably like, Penny Stocks are a scam, Tim Sykes is a scam. I'm used to it, okay? So don't be angry with them. They're just trying to look out for you. By the way, these are fresh flowers. Um, but at the same time, like this is real. Here's my Cuddy chilling, oh, totally no. unplanned. Oh no, <laughs> look at his belly. I made him eat extra French toast oh. today. Was that not the best French toast ever? 
It was the best French toast ever. Right? So it's worth it. I don't know. Put your, move, move your shirt down. Come on. You're on camera now. Be a man. Um, <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick question. As you're looking, as you're chilling with this view of Dubai and back, yeah. how much did you study, especially in the beginning? It was like every day. Is it, it, it captures you and it unravels you. You know, it's like every free moment you have. How many years have you been in the challenge? Uh, five to six years. And when did you start profiting instead of losing? Three years in, two and a half years. What were you doing the first year, two years? Trial by fire, trial and error. You know, you have to try this, you have to try that, you have to get it. Were you, you cutting can. losses quickly at least? In some cases, but then you have those one losses that kind of set you back and then you have to learn about what not to do and what to do. And you hate that feeling. So hate. then you never want that feeling again. Yeah, exactly. I gotcha. So what do you have as a tip for people? Because you're also, to be fair, full disclosure, Huddy, you're at 1.3 million. Kyle's at 1.7 million. You both benefited from this ridiculous hot market in late 2020, early 2021. If there was no hot market, you would probably still be under a million. That's fair enough to say. Yeah, but I mean, it's real. But there's going to be hot markets. There's going to be cold markets. You were prepared and you capitalize on the hot market. So going off like my, my one advice, like going off kind of what we're talking about right now is like the goal is not to like hit a home run trade. It's to stay in the game long enough to see a hot market. And then once the hot market comes, you know what to do. For example, in 2017, we saw marijuana stocks run. We saw Bitcoin stocks run. And then when we saw the, the writings on the wall that this could happen again, we were able to, from our experience, nail it the second time around. And size up, right? Size up, so you had a problem like, you know, a few months ago where you knew a lot. Like I was like, you're like my smartest non-millionaire student where you prepared so much, but you didn't size up. Now you're trying to like make gains with extra French toast. Now you're sizing up. It's all about <laughs> making gains. It is. With a Z. LBs. Um, what helped you size up though, as opposed to not sizing up? Because most people watching this, they should not size up. Well, I think I got inspired by the other challenge students, to be honest. I mean, you know, Jack Kellogg, Kyle Williams, and even yourself. You guys just took advantage of the liquidity and the process and the percent gains that we were seeing, and it was inspiring. And then, you know, it gave me the confidence to just try it out. And this is another reason why I love showing off the students. This isn't to brag. This is to show, look, other people can do this. And none of us are that special. We're not like that smart or great at math, but we're taking advantage of the patterns. We're sizing up when we see the, the opportunity. What did you do wrong on this trip to Dubai, though? Let's talk about that real quick. Uh, <laughs> I'm on vacation. <laughs> so that's a cop out because you did not take profits on IPNFF the no, other day. I was, up, I was up six grand, at probably at its at its highs, and I wasn't watching it. I literally wasn't watching. And it. I texted you, and I was like, "Are you watching IPNFF?" And then you didn't respond. And then it was close to two a.m., and we didn't know where you were. <laughs> I was on vacation. <laughs> That's not an excuse. Everyone leave a comment below and tell Huddy to get more disciplined, okay? That's ridiculous. You gotta take those six grand profits. For me, it's not even about the money, it's the good execution. You're in today's video lesson too, where I you know, talked about that, where like, it was such a freaking oh <laughs> perfect triple top though. Like, I understand sometimes you have more patience, that's good, it's good to swing. But when you have a triple top at a key level, you can't have too much patience, especially with F tickers, which are harder. I agree, I agree. Good job, somewhat. This is their room too. It's a little messy as you can see. We gotta get going. We're actually gonna go jet skiing in a little bit. Then we're heading off to the desert. We got, we got kind of a crazy schedule. Look at this, in case you wondered, you know, I assign burpees all the time to people. This is my little burpee pad. There's a whole pool and gym, um, which we'll, we'll show you more of, but I do burpees too. Maybe not enough of them, but I do them. Here's one more thing. Oh, this is uh, Palm Island, by the way. You can't really see today because it's a little hazy out. But we're, I mean, we're in the middle of Dubai. This is pretty, pretty cool. <sighs> Kyle's just enjoying the view. You like it? Or we leave. Right? Look at this. This is just magical. And again, don't think that you're going to get here. Guaranteed. Don't think that you're going to be my next millionaire student. Guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. Um, except education, right? Like you get the knowledge, you learn to cut losses quickly, you learn to stay in the game, as Huddy said. Hopefully you don't learn over patience like Huddy showed because he copped out saying he's on vacation and that it's not good to just forget your discipline and not take $6,000 in profits. I'm angry. Um, this is our little workstation over here. We got another bathroom over here. We got a little kitchen here. You can see why I'm so amped up. I've had a few coffees there. <laughs> Um, but you know, hopefully you can watch this, um, maybe send it to your, your friends or your family and 
you know, show them the, the potential rewards. Because literally this is paid for by one of my students, my old students, Harry Ye, who's now using the patterns in crypto. What do you think about Harry? He's a wild, eccentric man. Right? Yeah. That's beautiful. <sighs> Anyways, we have to get going. Just wanted to give you a little tour, a little reality check. Um, you know, I, I never forget that I'm from a small town in Connecticut. So, you know, I've been around the world. I've been very blessed, very fortunate. But at the same time, sometimes I just, you know, take a step back and I just look around and I'm just like, I appreciate this so much. I appreciate the freedom. Not even about the luxury. I mean, this is beautiful. That's just a nice gesture by Harry to put us up here. Um, but just the ability to do this literally from anywhere in the world, whether it's Dubai or, um, you know, literally anywhere. I, I just need Wi-Fi and or you know, satellite internet. <laughs> I've traded a lot on satellite, um, but you just need internet access. And I will mention one last thing before we go. Dubai is an interesting time zone. The US stock market opens here um, at like 5, 5.30 p.m. Um, so we've been trading to like midnight, which normally would be great, but we're also doing like day activities, sunrise shoots. So it's been <sighs> busy. <laughs> Um, but that's, that's the, the long and short of it. Um, I know this might not be the technical video that people want, but views like this are really unique and views like this are possible in the long run, not overnight, not guaranteed. Um, you know, so if you ever have any doubts about studying, if it's a cold market for a year or two years or three years, recognize that's fine. Um, if you don't know your patterns for, you know, one month, two months, five months, that's fine. Um, if you miss trades, that's fine. You can always paper trade. You can always trade small. The most success you'll have over time is in the long run. Uh, Harry was my student. I probably should have gotten him on video too, but I'm just not planning well today. Um, you know, he lost in, in penny stock trading, but he learned the patterns and he applied it to crypto. Now he's made many times more than any of my other students because crypto has been on fire and he's been uh, in the right place at the right time. Like forget about like how hot OTCs have been. Crypto and all the Bitcoin and all the altcoins have just been on fire and Harry really capitalized. So it's not an exact process. Um, you know, even when we flew in here, um, it was actually pretty crazy in the security line. Some guy, you know, recognized me, saw me on Wall Street Warriors. He tried trading and he said, hey, like, thank you for getting me into the air. I was like, oh, cool. How's trading? You're like, obviously you're doing well. You're flying, you know, business class uh, to Dubai. And he was like, no, trading, you know, didn't work out for me, but I used a lot of the principles and, you know, I'm doing really well in real estate. Fantastic. There's not one way to make a lot of money in the world. There's not just one way. Um, you know, to, to get wealthy. I don't know if you realize this, but the average millionaire has seven streams of income. So um, if I can teach you any rules, if I can teach you about responsibility, if I can teach you to be cynical, if I can teach you to be more conservative, um, part of the reason why I you know, do these first person point of views is because you should be standing here and it doesn't matter what method you use to get here. I don't think that you should do anything illegal. I don't think you need to do anything illegal. Um, there's so many different niches in so many different industries um, where there's opportunity and you just have to find what patterns, what niche, what industry works best for you. So, you know, use this as visual motivation. If you like charity instead, you know, right now we have 75 schools built with my charity foundation. The goal is to build a thousand plus. So it's a work in progress. As of the filming here, you know, I have thousands of students, but, uh, you know, now nearly two dozen millionaire students. And that number has like doubled or actually probably even closer to tripled in the past few months because of the hot market. And because a lot of my top students have been in the challenge for three, four, five, six, seven years. Um, and it takes time, you know, to learn. It's not a competition like, oh, I have to learn everything in month one or year one. Uh, even Jack Kellogg, you know, Huddy mentioned him that he was inspirational. Jack is over six million. He made nothing his first 20 months, 20 months of studying and making nothing. So you got to play for, you know, the, the long game here. And you just need to have the right mindset, the right patience, the right perseverance. Study as much as you can study as little as you want. I have part-time students too. But whatever it takes to keep you in the game so that you learn to maximize what you're good at and minimize what you're bad at. Leave a comment below if you're a dedicated student, if, you know, this video inspires you. Um, and click the link below too. There's going to be one link right below this video if you want to apply for my challenge. Um, just be ready for the grind. Nothing is overnight. 
no guaranteed profits. You'll probably lose in the beginning like most of my top students. The question is, can you learn from those losses? Can you come back and can you, you know, build your account over time so that, you know, you can get views like this in the long run. So that's today's lesson. Have a good one. I got to go jet ski.